uh, this mask is. If you if you put this thing on, you could see how massive. Can you? I don't even know if you can hear me. <laughs> What is going on everybody? Welcome back, Justin here guys. As always, thanks for stopping by and clicking on today's video. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Do me a quick favor, like this video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Hold on Petey, I'm almost done buddy. Um, I have a messy table here. I just shot another haul video, uh, which I will link below if you're seeing that before my other haul video. I have all kinds of t-shirts and Blu-rays and collectibles and all that good stuff. But I did want to dedicate a uh, separate video for this one because this is an absolutely amazing piece from Trick or Treat Studios. Now I've done videos for all of my Killer Clowns masks so far. Uh, so now we have Clownzilla. And I, when I first got these masks, I noticed the size of them. They're very, they're very large masks, but this one takes the cake and in fact you can't really even this doesn't even give it justice as to how big uh this mask is if you if you put this thing on you could see how massive can you i don't even know if you can hear me the mic is inside the mask right now which is pretty hilarious but it's amazing the sculpt and design and paint job on this one is really, really good. Some of these have been hit or miss uh, as far as the quality of the paint jobs. Most are amazing, uh, but I have heard complaints specifically about the new Halloween Kills mask, which I thought it looked like had mustard squirted all over his face. I don't, I don't know what they were thinking with that one, but the other ones that I've got, uh, which I've done videos for, the zombie mask in particular was amazing. Scary stories to tell in the dark, and now uh, the Clownzilla. Uh, the attention to detail in here, especially with uh, like the cracks in his face, and the detail around the eyes, and I love the color of the mouth. The purple on this really, really pops. Uh, it really, really does. Um, now, uh, so there's some bleed over with the uh, the teeth into the rest of the mouth. I sort of wish the uh, the mouth area was like full on black in between the teeth to make that pop a little bit more, but it looks great. Um, but I love the color that they chose to use for uh, the lips and of course the hair. The hair is really nice on this. Uh, you can see it kind of uh, really flows and it looks really great. The hair looks great. The hair on a couple of the other ones aren't as great. This has this straight sort of shiny uh, hair. They had to use a different material for the other ones to be able to make the hair stand up. But I love this flowy hair. It looks really, really great. And like I said, this thing is just absolutely massive. It looks huge. So I actually ordered this one off of Amazon because it, at this point it wasn't sold out. Um, actually, I was looking on Amazon for Killer Clowns masks. Uh, I think, I don't know, it was just I search random shit every once in a while. And I saw this come up, but this wasn't listed on Trick or Treat's website at the time that I was buying my other one. So I didn't even know this existed. And in fact, I was a little sketched out thinking that maybe it wasn't an official uh, Trick or Treat release. So I bought it and then <laughs> weirdly, a couple weeks later, uh, Trick or Treat Studios put it back on their site as a pre-order. I guess this is something that they've carried for years, but it just kind of, they're kind of made to order or I don't know. When they make more, they put them on the site and then when they sell out, they take them off and produce more. Um, but anyway, so this thing is absolutely incredible. If you're looking to complete your Killer Clowns collection, uh, you got it here, uh, buddy, because these are awesome. This was sculpted by uh, Mike Rotella. The other ones have a couple different sculpts, uh, including, I think this is Tom Delvin. One of them was sculpted by Justin Mabry, which is the co-founder of Trick or Treat Studios. Um, I think that was slim. Uh, yeah, these look great. If you're looking to pick this up, I highly recommend snagging this. The Trick or Treat Studios masks are incredibly affordable. They're all hand painted. They look great. Um, and these are, uh, like I said in the other videos, these are created from close up, uh, high definition pictures of the actual masks and sculpts from the movie. So these are pretty close to being movie accurate, if you ask me. They look they look fantastic. So guys, that is it. That is the Clownzilla mask from Trick or Treat Studios. Now I'll link the Killer Clowns as well as my other uh, Trick or Treat Studios mask videos down below. And I will also link my uh, hauls playlist where it's all my collectible toys and Blu-ray hauls. I'll link that playlist down below um, so you can find out about cool new collectibles, Blu-rays, all that stuff. So guys, I appreciate it. Uh, I think we're done here. Stay weird. Remember to always be yourself and I will see you in the next one. Bye.